right back down. Yeah. Uh, get back to business. Mario Game & Watch against, uh, you know, we got that Roy Rob uh, synergy that we've been seeing. And uh, this will be interesting because you got two combo heavy characters against Rob. And, uh, of course, Roy, you know, he'll find himself at the at the mercy of some combos and edge guards as well from uh, Game & Watch. So, you know, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how Zamba, uh, I think, is going to deal with um, this team combination. Yeah, 100% is moving in here. Top eight. Winner semis. Oh, no. Oh, baby. Game cape, baby. And <laughs> that's the Wizzy special. Do not find yourself off stage if you're Roy. I mean, you know, that's the name of the game, but, you know, sometimes you just can't help yourself. Yeah, lulled me to sleep a little bit. I thought the Goblin was going to be safe there. Look towards the other side of the stage. Next thing I know, caped away is Goblin. Losing that stock. Oh, man. No, and getting bailed out by uh, Goblin. You know, Zombo was in a perilous situation against Meister off stage. That's not where you want to find yourself. You know, down air, back air is looming for sure. And now, once again, Wizzy is going to be uh, trying to take care of Zombo. On the other side, we got Goblin. He's coming to the rescue. Ooh, okay. Nice read right there. Just not the right execution for Dark Wizzy. No, not at all. Just yet. Is oh, there we go. Great little combo into the up smash. Gets another stock and blue team still looking strong here. Dark Wizzy and Meister came to play today. Oh yeah. And how did Meister know? He just had that. He had the up smash ready. Oh boy. Wizzy. Dark Wizzy is just having a field day right now on Goblin. Yeah, my lord. The reaction time is there. He does get the stock, but it is going to be traded right back. Both stocks falling off the side of blue team, but Goblin down to his last stock here in this one. Half to share stock if he dies again. Right, definitely doesn't want to be put in a situation where he has to take stock from Zamba because you know Zamba stocks they're uh, they're rising. You know you, you got yeah. you got to hang on to them. Uh, but man, Goblin has not been able to establish himself at all on this stage. You know, once again, Dark Wizzy doing a good job on Goblin, You're just taking care of him. Oh my goodness! In the back throw, able to disrupt the teammate uh, Zamba just enough to not be able to bail out Goblin. Here we go. Oh, I love the grab release right there too. Gets a little bit of a help on it, but it doesn't matter because Game Watch turns it around into a reverse edge guard, takes off Zamba, and Meister and Dark Wizzy said, you know what, man, don't give us a warm-up set because we are still clean right now. Oh, yeah. They definitely did not slow down from that last set against the Yoshis, but uh, it's going to be a Goblin and Zamba to make sure they stay warm, and the up smash is going to be able to connect on both. Dark Wizzy not a high enough percent to be able to die, uh, but still having two stocks to be able to work with. Yeah, he does. It has one more stock for either of his teammates to work with, and now they're just going right back into uh, the projectile spam that keeps them off the stage. Yeah, that so. uh, that bacon fireball combination, you know, <laughs> heating up the bacon for him exactly. and then just sending it back. It's like, uh, you know, it's a healthy breakfast. Yeah, and just flipping it here in the pan and, and cooking it for him. His Wizzy is now coming in the flood. Yeah. It's just going to be the back air off the side of the stage. You can see it's, it's taken out very well there. Um, Meister looking really clean on his gameplay, but I, I've been really impressed with Wizzy's adaptations. And like we saw with that one back here killing the blast zone, whenever something's gifted to him, when it's put on his plate, he is always taking it. He's always ready to take it, and it's caught a little bit of Zomba and Goblin off guard. Oh, definitely. And you have to think, you know, Goblin does have an Ike. I don't know if you want to throw another big body in the mix against this team yeah. combination, but the Roy was just not working out. I mean, you're just mm -hmm. getting edge guarded. Um, you know, it was mainly Mario, which is surprising to me because Meister, you know, as we just saw in that last stock against Zamba, you know, a fiend off stage. Um, so when both of them are, you know, oh boy, oh man, the Cloud counter pick. So okay. yeah, this is a good switch because Cloud is. does is. really well against, uh, you know, stubby hitboxes, stubby characters like like Mario, uh, Game & Watch as well. So, uh, and you know, this is kind of a legit Cloud. I've seen it uh, at the 404, I think it was uh, not the pre-local, but a couple months ago. Yeah. And uh, it was doing work. So, you know, we'll see if it's still warm. It's about a very fundamental neutral game kind of character, right? So it's, it's a character that, you know, sure. if you're a solid Smash player, a lot of times you can kind of pick it up pretty quickly. Is well, Where's Meister's stock? Well, I, I don't really know what happened here. I mean, we're... <laughs> Uh, going into this really quickly, and Meister has already lost a stock. It's seldom that you find a uh, Game & Watch SD. Uh, but, you know, it's time to play for everything, so. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. Wait. You got to wonder, are, are we are we hand-warming here for the, the between I mean, this, games? This is a legitimate set right now. And yeah. <laughs> maybe they saw saw Zomba and Clown there, like, there's no way. You know, we're not, you know. Yeah. Oh, All boy. Right. But this is legit, and he's still hanging on the limit here. Uh, this is scary, and I think holding on to limit, especially in doubles, is definitely the the wave. Uh, you know, until that 50 seconds is up, you gotta throw it away. But 
Uh, having that added boost and power definitely going to be invaluable in this double set, especially against two strong uh, players like this where you, you're going to need that extra speed. Yeah, definitely. And right now, I don't know what's happened to these stocks, but they are just... <laughs> They're going down, baby. Stocks going down. They Looking like the market off the right shelf now. Shelf right now. Good <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, and uh, Goblin and Zombo looking very clean. The cloud switch. I don't even know if it's the cloud switch or if it's just love from Whiskey and Meister because we've seen some SDs. We've seen just kind of some sloppy play from them. I don't know. I think it's a Zombo cloud. I mean, it's just all fundamentals right here. Yes. Even staying alive. I mean, he's just so knowledgeable with this character. Yeah. It's it's crazy. You know, mainly being a Rob uh, solo main. He's like, you know what? Yeah, I got the Roy. I got the Cloud. Uh, that, that's all you need. Yeah, we're five minutes to go in this one, and it's looking rough. Last stock situation for both Wizzy and Meister. Limit back on deck for Cloud. Wizzy up to 100%. A cross slash is going to kill him here from pretty much anywhere. And he looks. Oh, yeah. Oh, he goes for the grab here instead. Still limit for just a moment as he goes for the cross slash. Doesn't quite get it, but there we go. Does get Goblin stock, and this game has blown by Cargo. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened, uh, you know, starting off with an SD from Meister. Definitely not the way you want to start. Out in the forward smash right there. Applying the shield pressure and getting the stock on uh, Meister right now and creating an amazing situation for this red team. Yeah, it is. And look at Wizzy. Oh, He's so my goodness. low. Yeah, he eventually does die off the top at 150%. Is going to go off the top of the stage. And again, that one just over so fast. I don't really know exactly how to explain what happened, but Wizzy and Meister, who looked so clean and in control and wanted to kind of slow the game down and play together, right there just could never connect. Does Rob just make the game slower? I don't know. I don't know. Not Zama's Rob. <laughs> no. Zama's Rob normally goes in, but you know. When you have to play back like that, you have to play extremely safe as Rob against you know the likes of Mario and Game & Watch where they can break out of your commas really easily and then reversal it on you. Um, you. You don't have the added pressure when you have Cloud. You know, you get the space with your back air, stay relatively safe, and uh, also, you know, provide a little extra kill power when the time comes. You got limit, you got, uh, you know, upper conversions like we just saw in the last stock. So definitely a great counter pick right here. I'm surprised we didn't see double Roy. I thought Roy was uh, Zamba's more practiced character, but of course Cloud, you know, Carrying over from Smash 4 still being a very strong doubles character. Yes, yeah, still very much is. And again, we talked about how impressive he was in Smash 4, like you just mentioned right there. And still has a lot of those tools, right? I mean, the, the lower cooldown on Limit, which is what nerfed Cloud a lot, really isn't that big of a deal in a double situation. Because unlike singles, you were never just getting the Limit and holding it for the buffs, right? Yeah. In doubles, you're expending it because you want that extra damage. You want that kill power. So when you come right back into this, as we see a mix-up here. Oh, boy. Going to the Sora. This, this is going to be interesting. This is the first Sora I've seen. And a uh, pretty good one at that. You know, this is a character that Meister has been practicing, uh, mainly on Wi-Fi, you know, going on stream and using this character in uh, coin boxes and whatnot. Uh, but, you know, still a very practiced character. I mean, this could work. In singles, you know, Sora not seen as one of the strongest characters. But uh, when you're with Dark Wizzy, what can go wrong? Yeah, definitely still a lot of combo potential here with the Sword, right? Especially he's got single combos, and then, of course, Mario can follow up on that and keep ladders going. Uh, and you're seeing that almost happen right there, but the cross slash just puts an end to that. As right now, a little bit of an advantage here for the side of Goblin and Zombas. They do get a kill off the other side. F-Tilt is going to get another kill. And, man, this cloud switch has looked really good for Goblin and Zombas. Yeah, Meister and uh, Dark Wizzy bleeding right now. And I'm surprised we saw the Game Watch switch because I don't think it wasn't working. You know, there's just an SD thrown in the mix. And, you know, he lost the stock pretty early, and I feel like you could have turned that around. But with Sora, you know, you got a whole different uh, game plan uh, that you got to throw out. You don't have that, um, you know, the up out of shield, the up smash kill power from a Game & Watch that uh, you'd normally get. Instead, you got Sora. But Sora, able to close it out with the up smash regardless. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I didn't know if that one was actually going to kill, but it does. Azama does save his limit, gets right back to the stage, looking to rack up some percentage here, gets the neutral beyond Blade Beam. There's a pa double parry coming out, and the get-up attack <laughs> frees up some space. But Zamba, looking like he might want to switch his mains, man. He was looking really good right there. Finally does die, though. Oh, yeah. Getting the uh, the counter right there. Mm -hmm. Pretty strong from Sora as well. And, you know, when you're at a high percent like that, you're going to find your stock loss. Uh, oh, man, Goblin coming in with the road back here. Able to save his teammate and close out the stock at the same time. That's definitely what you need here uh, to move on. I mean, they're already up to 0 yeah, it, it's oh, almost yeah. like that Goblin and Zomba have awakened like their third eye here, right? Like they are seeing the stage so well together. They're playing so quickly with this Cloud and Roy combo. They're all the stage. 
is just basically being covered. You know, they, they're not really given a chance for Dark Wizzy and Meister to land or really get anything going. Grab right there, but putting yourself in a perilous position to able to combo his goblin. Oh boy, and the side beat able to close. Oh, okay, I thought it closed both of them. I didn't see where Sora went, but uh, at least able to get Dark Wizzy stock off and putting him on this last stock. Definitely a dangerous situation. Ooh, good tech. How does Zamba have that situational awareness? Not only that, but then to shield the forward smash coming out from Goblin. So smart right there, and getting the combos here, trying to send him back with the nair, maybe convert into a finishing touch. I haven't seen that one in a minute. Yeah, dude, I don't know. I don't want to see this Rob again because this cloud has looked so clean and the team synergy has looked so good as the cross slash comes back and puts so much percentage on Wizzy. And there's still one stock uh, to spare for the side of Goblin and Zamba. They have one that they can share together is now the down air. It's just going to kill off the top. We don't even get an end screen. It just goes off and Dark Wizzy and Meister drop another game here. Yep, no warning at all. And now I think they're up 2-1. Uh, yes. Uh, I believe so. Good stuff. Let's see if um, Dark Wizzy and Meister want to maybe switch back to that team combination of uh, Game & Watch Mario. It was definitely working. Yeah, I think so. I, I think you don't want to diverge off that path. Then Sora was a good effort uh, throwing another sword user into the mix because, you know, if Zombas got a sword and I got a sword, uh, maybe it will be more even. But um, definitely just can't compete with the strength of and Cloud. I like what they did there, right? I think that too many times people get to this situation where you get to tournament stock and then you make your switch. I think – the time to make the switch to see if it's going to work is when you're even. Right? Yeah. If you can steal a game but still stay alive even if you don't, right. uh, that's definitely what you want to find out. And Instead now, Instead of risking it all, exactly. And yeah. So now they're like, all right, look, that wasn't working. we got to go back to our bread and butter. This is where we feel comfortable on. Can we bring this back? And <laughs> Zomba is saying no. Yeah. And you also have to readjust back to the game of watching. You, know, you, 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 ha you have one set plan against Sora. Yeah. And then it's like, wait, you game of watching back? All right, you know, you got to switch it up now. Yeah, you got to get that adjustment right back on, but wasn't looking too hard for just a moment, but Game & Watch combo starting up a little bit, trying to get them going here, but look at this, up B one way, side B the other way, creating so much space is oh, yeah. this red team. And that's that's exactly what they want to do. They have the swords, they have the range. Oh, boy, but Meister has the edge guards, not able to find uh, the finishing blow right there. Oh, but Dark Wizzy sending him into a uh, down air potentially could have spiked, but not able to get it. Yeah, looking for it again is now a limit on deck for Cloud. This could be a stock or two stocks, depending on how it gets caught. The, but the cross slash gets knocked out of it. I think the back throw hit him. And now Meister with a great edge guard. He dies. Uh, Zomba does. I thought Meister might have some trouble getting back, but he is eventually going to get caught here by the dash attack. And then going the other way, Goblin. This again, the firepower here from Goblin and Zomba. You blink your eyes and two stocks are gone. Oh, boy. And uh, looks like Zomba, yeah, getting pieced up right there by the Mario. Oh, it wasn't looking good. Don't ever want to find yourself off stage as Cloud, of course. No. But, I mean, Kalos is going to give you a chance here with the wall to maybe wall jump back. But there we go. A kill coming right back onto Goblin. Blue team looking a little bit better here. Limit yep. is burned on the climb hazard to get back to the stage. Yeah. But it's not going to matter for Zombu who keeps the combo going and just continues to work this blue team towards the edges of the stage. They're not allowing them to really link up and get together and get the combos going the way that they want to for the most part. Right, and having uh, Mario off stage now, uh, Goblin just creating a wall is like, all right, I don't want you to get back to Zamba because you know you're kind of edge guarding Zamba. Yeah, I don't, I don't want you in that situation with him. And Dark Wizzy miscalculating right there. Mm -hmm. Not sure if he just didn't have enough range or if he upbeat a little bit too early. You know, he used his jump and then upbeat, but maybe just uh, miscalculated. Maybe, and you know, Mario has a chance to maybe get to that wall, see if you can't use that as an extension there on your recovery. But either way, yep. Dark Wizzy does take a oh. stock away there. Is now almost a chance for another one as the combo comes out for the side of Red Team back here in the back here. Yep, back. now Dark Wizzy getting lead trapped right now by Cloud, and on the other side, Goblin, of course, uh, making sure Meister has a tough time getting back. Great use of the platform right there. That's what Kyle's is for, using it to get back is Goblin. All right? Oh, no. And that's going to be a lost stock from Zamba. And not even trying to, you know, up B, maybe have his teammate save him. But I think he just wants to get back in the action as fast as possible. Yeah, this is a situation where you've got a stock lead now. You do get the kill. Just get back into that action, trying to trade that one off. Goblin doesn't die off the top. Looking to see if they can get in. Wizzy, very, very high percentage here. If you can get him off, you've got a really good chance to move on to winner's finals here for Goblin and Zamba as they are dancing around the stage. Jair combo not going to be followed up on here. I think Goblin trying to play it a little bit safer. He does live. 
as he continues with the double edge dance and gets the combo into Zamba, who doesn't even get punished for going for it. In the back air, out of the shield, coming in for Goblin to take the stock, and now it's a 1v2 situation, really 1v3 for Meister. Yeah, this is a bad spot to be in if you are the blue team. Of course, Meister has to solo this amazing uh, sword duo right here. We've seen it time and time again. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. oh, and the air dodge, of course. Meister. <laughs> I think he just did that to burn the limit, but, you know, of course... Zamba's going to be able to get another one back if you're just getting lead trap like this. Nowhere for you to go. Nothing and Meister and Dark Wizzy are going to fall to Goblin and Zamba's team combination. Switching it up. You know, we started with the Rob, uh, Rob Roy. We saw that all day. And then he's like, you know what? I got Cloud in the back. Man, let me pull it out. Yeah, he pulled out that Cloud, and it looks so clean. I mean, when we first saw the first game between these two teams, mm -hmm. Meister and Dark Wizzy looked so clean. I think they won it so convincingly with the Game & Watch and the Mario, and they were just keeping that momentum in coming in from the last set. But once the Cloud came out, I think the speed of, of Roy plus Cloud just made it so hard uh, to keep up with as Mario and Game & Watch because those are, again, two combo-heavy characters but not really known for their speed or their range, which both Roy and Cloud kind of have, and that just they just were able to kind of cover the entire stage, not really give them a chance to get in and get those combos going uh, that made them so strong throughout the bracket. Yeah, Cloud definitely the catalyst. In